So we're going to define functions that don't require any parameters. So what they've done here is if the name is main, we'll go ahead and run this. And so here's our main. And right here is where we're going to calculate or create our discount function. So let's go ahead and define discount. Def discount. A little spelling issue there. Def discount. Just like everything else, we'll go ahead and wrap it up with a colon at the end. And that function will have a print. Go ahead and copy it right out of there. Okay, let's come down here. Def no discount colon come down print and this one is So sorry for you. So we've got two options, depending on if you got the discount or didn't get the discount, a different output will be displayed. So come down here, we'll test to see what they entered. Okay, so I tab in because I'm in this main, and I'll say if register string and that's our value here. Register string is equivalent to y. Now let's go ahead and wrap that in quotes. So if equivalent to y, we'll come down. What happens if it's equivalent to y? Well, it's called discount. We'll actually call that function. Else, Maybe back up. There we go. No discount. So if we go ahead and run this, did you pre-register? Yes, I did. Ooh, I get the discount. So let's go ahead and test it, see if it's right. Since we got 204, and what did it have the problem with? Sorry, you did not pre-register. And do not qualify for a five percent discount. So we want exactly the way they said. Let's see, what did we what did we miss? did we miss? We got this part right. So we're good here. The discount functions are there. Printed out what it should have done. No. Sorry, you did not pre-register. Not qualified for a discount. It appears to be working right, but when I look at it, it's telling me I've got an issue. So let's dig and find out what the issue is. Okay. I 
bear with me. And I think I see it. I do see it. I'm not happy with it. So they said you need to display this message, but they're evaluating a different message. There's a dash in there. And pre-register. Let's go ahead and test it. There we go. So I've got to go ahead and report this bug or issue in the directions to the developer and get them to correct that. But we're able to go through and analyze and find out what the issues are by looking at what the expected output should be and how do we address that. So we've addressed it accordingly and we got it where it needs to be. We did not require any arguments to pass to these functions that we've created. So we called the function and boom, we went ahead and ran it. So we're good there. 